Hey guys, this is Blendmaster here with another tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to model DNA inside of Blender. This is going to be the first part of three in which I show you how to model DNA, set up the materials, and animate it. So to model our DNA, I'm going to delete this Cuban lamp first, go to front view and orthographic, and add a cylinder. This is going to be the base shape of our DNA, and I'm going to add a mirror modifier which will help speed up the process of modeling it. I'm just going to move this out a little bit and then press S shift Z so it scales along every axis but the Z axis and I'm going to make it about that thick move it out a little bit and that's good now I'm going to go to face select mode and select the top and bottom face. Now I'll press X and select only faces so it deletes just the face and not the vertices. Then I'm going to select everything, press shift D, R, and 90 so it rotates it exactly 90 degrees. Then I'll click clipping in the modifier menu and drag this all the way to the center of the or where the origin is, let go, and then go to wireframe and select, move it along the x-axis to the center of our cylinder here. Now I'll press S and Shift X so it scales along every axis but the X axis. And that's looking good. So I'll just set the shading to smooth and that's it for our base shape of the DNA. To create the actual DNA look we'll be using a lot of modifiers and the next modifier we'll use is an array modifier. After that I'll add a subdivision surface modifier, set that to 2, and then I'll add a simple deform modifier and a curve modifier. So I'll open up the array modifier and I'm going to set the count to about 50 and change the relative offset of the X and Y to 0 and make the Z 1. Then I'm going to collapse this and open up the simple deform modifier and change the deform angle to about 2000. Uh, that's a little too much, I think. So I'm going to change it to 1750, maybe 1600. Yeah, and that's looking good. So now we're going to add a curve. And this curve is going to be the path that our DNA follows. So I'm going to rotate this on the x, or, yeah, x axis by 90 degrees, tab into edit mode, and scale it up by 10. Then I'm just going to move around these points to create a shape that I like that our DNA will follow. And then I'll extrude some extra points here, like that. And I'll move these back and this one up. And this is really up to you to create whatever sh uh, shape or path you want your DNA to follow. I'm just creating a simple path. And I'll scale it along. Whoops. I'll scale it along the y axis so it's not as drastic. And then move it up. And that's it for the curve. Now I'm just going to select our DNA again and set the go to the curve modifier and set the object to NURBS path. And right now you can see that the uh, DNA is attached to our curve but it's not oriented the way you want it. So you have to uh, check one of these until you find which uh, one is right and this one the Y is working for it. So that's pretty much it for modeling DNA inside a blender. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please share your results in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave comments as well. Thanks for watching.